Now, one of the things that I've learned when I invest into the new stock is sometimes not to listen to the big financial institutions because some of them, they issue out statements to, cry, to try to crush the stock so that maybe they might buy it very cheap, which is what exactly we saw UBS or Union Bank of Switzerland did today. I mean, they came and dropped their price target of near from $7 to 5 dollars and 20 cents and they are saying simply because they see neo reporting on q2 a total loss of around 2.2 billion rnb or 670 million loss this is not good uh, i mean over and above yes we understand the loss part but you can't just downgrade a stock like that i mean this is a stock that we saw record-breaking quarterly deliveries which is something that to get to see them just downgrade it like this it does not make sense i mean even the loss which they are estimating or projecting personally i think it might be less uh, than what they are projecting but i guess we'll have to wait and see because of the loss which they see on the new stock and they are saying they are downgrading it it does not add up it doesn't make sense and it is for this reason that i think probably one one of their motives might be to short the stock and make sure that they accumulate as many shares when the stock drops or when that stock is at the bottom of the belly we've been seeing record-breaking deliveries for the past two months and chances are very high that even this month the month of july we might see neo doing exceptionally well and to just see a company or big financial institutions like ubs coming and saying they are dropping their stock they are still neutral on neo yet neo is producing record-breaking deliveries it makes no sense it doesn't add up to me and uh, i think we are not supposed to be shaken by this and neo is a company that its fundamentals are growing yes they are seeing this on this quarter but in the long term even if they are to see a 2.2 uh, billion rnb loss or 674 million loss this quarter neo is growing it's improving and i think uh, but their financial or earnings are becoming better and better Yes, they might have been spending a lot on R&Ds or they are spending a lot of money as it stands on research and development. But in the long term, this will pay off. And we have already started seeing some of the things, some of the res their research and development projects uh, paying off or reaping some good results in terms of attracting deliveries or attracting sales onto the New Yorkers, which I have no doubt that we are going to continue seeing this even in the future. I mean, today we saw the insurance registrations coming at 4,600, which is a pretty decent figure because it makes you to stand at a total cumulative of around 13,400 or 13,300, which is absolutely amazing. I, th I think this is just to take the stock down. I mean, who would be neutral on a, on a stock or on a company that is reporting record-breaking deliveries on a month-to-month? -month? I mean, gross margins, yes, might be hurt. I mean, gross margins, yes, might be hurt by the discounts that they were issuing, but Neo still expects double-digit gross margins this quarter, uh, which is something that shows you that it's not as bad as many people think. Neo is still going to do very well. And of course, these are just their forecast, their predictions. You will know that Bank of America also tried to come and pull the same stunt and indicated that Neo for the month of June, they will report 14,200. What did we see? <laughs> that very same month we saw new reporting 21,209 vehicles but yet Bank of America had came and issued a statement saying that they are downgrading NEO NEO they will sell around they project NEO to sell around 14,200 sales in June and after that we saw NEO reporting record-breaking deliveries not just only more deliveries than what Bank of America had projected but record breaking deliveries all time high when it comes to monthly deliveries which this shows you some of the tactics that these banks uh, are bringing when it comes to the new stock and really the reason that is why i'm saying probably it might be that the the stock goes down in the bottom of the belly then they buy or accumulate shares there because really it doesn't make sense i mean we are going to see neo reporting over twenty thousand deliveries still this month and this company union bank of switzerland comes and downgrade neo give it a neutral rating i mean who does that man this does not add up to me and i think as investors 
we need to remain long and strong onto the new stock yes this in these companies will come and issue statements there and there and we are seeing on a month and ma to month companies trying and coming to take down the new stock but Neo is proving the companies wrong by performing or performing way better than what these companies are projecting which is the same thing or same outcomes which I believe we might see Neo doing even on their Q2 earnings and perform way better than what UBS or Union Bank of Switzerland is projecting. So I still remain bullish long and strong onto the Neo stock because I believe that long term will win onto this stock. Those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the stock price yes today we are down uh, three four percent which i think is a good opportunity or it's a good day to scoop some shares onto neo thinking long term because long term will win in long term neo it is a winner and these articles from the these institutions it's just a reminder to us to say that we need to do our own due diligence and not panic sell i mean like how do you downgrade neo from seven dollars to five dollars and give it a neutral rating why based on what because neo has been doing so well they q2 the very same q2 neo reported record-breaking deliveries does that not count for something i mean does that even make you to yes i know neo uh, people who want it to be profitable or we want them to report profitability or on their earnings but Neo is a company that is heading towards there and slowly but surely they will get there. 2025 profitability will come whether the short sellers are wanted or not. Profitability is coming at the end of 2025 which is something that we look forward to. So we remain long, I remain long onto the Neo stock uh, because I know that blue sky is coming and those that are persevering will definitely be rewarded. But again, these are just my opinions, not professional financial advice. Do your own due diligence so that at least you don't get to panic sell. I mean, after this article, there are obviously going to be some people that are going to sell Neo because they are scared because they are scared because of these comments made by UBS or Union Bank of Switzerland. I mean, someone posted the UBS sentiment on Neo since April of 2021 to date, and I seen on the screen you notice that they've never really issued a buy rating. They are always or forever neutral onto the Neo stock, which is something that really makes me wonder why they have not really been um, bullish onto neo stock and have given it sort of like a neutral rating it just makes me wonder but anyways do your own deed so that at least you don't get to panic sell when you are investing onto this stock and when you see sharp force and sharp drops onto this uh, company otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all